What is up guys, Jeffy Gaming here, welcome back to my F1 2010 career mode. This is the Hungarian Grand Prix and it's the race just before the summer break, which in real life will last about one or two days because we're getting these videos out very quickly indeed before F1 2016 comes out and we're having a great time doing it, really enjoying this season, though it's going to be sad not to be playing this game uh, for a little bit. We have a quick look at the standings here, we've got... 11 point deficit to Weber, so he's really been on form recently if you want to go and check them races out but uh you know we've got an offer on the table once again we rejected virgin uh, last time out and i think we just did it again i wasn't looking at the screen but the team still haven't noticed me i'm gonna pick another team just in case i do come back to this career mode but looking ahead the hungarian grand prix pre it's a very tricky track and we actually were doing all right in qualifying. Our first couple of laps got us up to P5. We're not too far off the uh, pole position time of Vettel. We're going faster on lap three. It's the end of the session, so I think we can improve here. We're coming through the final corner. No mistakes, and we'll be all right. Oh, we've lost it into the wall, and we've lost the front wing. We're bottling it on the final lap of qualifying once again. We did the exact same thing in Hockenheim, and it was in the final sector there as well, so... No improvement on our P5. Weber's in second, so he's in striking distance. And actually, like the McLarens have struggled there. Getting out qualified by the Force Indias. I saw Schumacher down the order, so yeah, it should be a very intriguing race. Hopefully we can get Weber quickly and just control the pace. So, start of the race. What can we do here? It's a pretty long run to turn one. Let's see if we can make any positions diving up the inside or outside of everyone. Five lights and away we go. We get an okay getaway. Let's see if we can keep up with these guys ahead. And we've got Rosberg on our outside and a force injury assaulting us. But let's see if we can fight back here into turn one under braking. We go for a pretty wide line. Look at Massago. He's speeding through turn one. While the AI have just totally destroyed me on traction there. But... Uh, yeah, we're still in fifth place, just behind the two Red Bulls, and Weber's taken the lead, I've just noticed that. That is a disaster. Come on, Vettel, fight back. No more of these Red Bull team orders as we were pushing too hard there, went off the track. But we need to try and stick with these Red Bulls and Ferraris. It's really going to be a true test of our pace around here. If we can stick with these, we've got a shot of winning this race. Um, with this a little bit of a gap at the moment, and we're trying to go for it now. We've gone wide, actually. Struggling through that chicane. Had to skip the corner. Didn't get a warning, though. So, yeah. Not too sure about that one. But we're sticking with the front four for now. We've got a little bit of a gap to Rosberg. So, we need to just see if we can stick with these. And if we do, then we've got some big points coming. Which is the main thing. So, on to lap two. Alonso's got a bit of a poo run through there. So, we're coming through the fast left-hander. Blind entry as well, which makes it tricky. And one of the uh, corners I corner cut the most. And we've actually gone for it around the outside. Have we made yes, we've made it. Fantastic move. Around the outside of Alonso. Up to fourth. And we missed the chicane again. There we go. There's the one and we deserve. Yeah, we, we just can't get our car through there cleanly on the first two laps. Let's see if we can do it next time out. Lap three. Can we get through the chicane? It's been a trial so far, and we've missed the braking again. We've done the exact same thing as on lap two. Um, yeah, I think if we do it again next lap, we might get a penalty. But lap four, um, we actually did get through the uh, chicane all right. But the lap wasn't great. Our tyres are going off, and I thought, I'm going to go for the undercut here because I'm scheduled to pit on the next lap. I think I'm one of the only front runners to come into the pits now. So let's see if we can get the undercut and overtake Massa. I'm not sure if we have the pace, the Red Bulls ahead. They seem to be really quick around here, which is uh, just like real life. So can we have a good stop, guys? Let's have a look. Prime tyres on. We're not going to get held up. We're cool. We're out. 4.5 seconds. And are we going to get any traffic? I can hear a car coming down the pit straight. It's going to be very close. Is that Hamilton? No, it's Cubitzer. We've come out just ahead of the Renault. That's going to be key. So we're in 15. Weber's still in the lead. Let's see if we can undercut and take Massa. If not Vessel as well, if we can. So we put in a pretty good lap. We're coming around the final corner now. Quite a few cars in the pits. Have we executed the undercut? It's very difficult on this game, I found. And let's have a look. There's Massa coming out the pits there. I can see him. Oh, I don't think it's going to be enough. Have we got it? We've gone slightly too wide into turn one. No, we haven't made it work. 
Though we have uh, got a lot closer to the Ferrari. So let's see if we can put him under pressure while he's on cold tyres. And get ourselves up to effectively third place I think it is. So we're chasing him. Can we get close enough to go for me? Possibly into the chicane. I know I struggled there. Actually, we both corner cut there as well. So, yeah, we'll uh, <laughs> we'll make no more comments about that. Yeah, coming into the chicane, I tend to go for overtakes on like 2015. But I don't know. I keep struggling with this corner. Actually, we've executed that perfectly. Do we have a shot to go for the Ferrari here? We're looking to go for a bit of a switch back. But no, we've missed the apex. Gone too wide. And now we're trying to make up for it too much. And we're just, yeah, we've just messed up there. So we wait till the next lap. Decent run through the chicane. Ah, oh, the chicane. So much action. Let's see if we can do it better this time. So, yeah, we hit the apex. We're all over the back of the Ferrari. And I think ahead of him, Rosberg has pitted and jumped us somehow. So, he's got the overcut. I don't know where he's come from. So, we need to get past Master and try and go after Nico. So, can we get a decent run here? I think we're going to be close. And this was the opportunity that uh, I kept making stick in the previous season up the inside. I think we've got it done. We've just a bit too wide and he's hit us. Massa has hit us there. He's broken his front wing. I don't know if it's enough for him to pit again. No, it's not. I think it's just an end plate or two. But yeah, that was the corner we kept overtaking drivers last, uh, last year, last season. And yeah, we made a stick once again for the first time in this race. So truly into the pits. And we're up to P4. Webber. Uh, is still leading, Rosberg has jumped us, and actually if you look at the minimap, Trulli's come out, I think in the top 10, so... Watch this space, I think Trulli's going to get his first point of the season. So on the final lap, we were pretty lonely, we had a one second lead to Massa, he didn't really put us under pressure, but there we go. That's not what we want to see, Mark Webber has won this race. Unbelievable turn of form for the Red Bull driver. He just keeps winning races and get, keeps getting big pies, but we're going to come home. I'd usually be happy with a fourth. It's two fourth places in a row, but I feel a little flat because Weber is destroying me at the moment and extending the lead in the championship. This is going to be a lot trickier than I thought. I thought we were cruising a few races ago, but no, that's not... It's just, just not going to be easy winning this title. So Weber's taken the win from Vettel. Red Bull have absolutely dominated this race. Rosberg has come out of nowhere to get a podium. And we just beat Massa. And there we go. Truly did finish in the points. He got four points for himself. And the Lotus team. A great performance there. And Lucas Degrassi, I've got a point out, finished last. So the driver's standings with 24 points behind Weber. I think next time out, Spa, and then possibly Monza, so two strong tracks for us, and we really could do with a win or two there. Uh, Vettel's not too far behind, but it's starting to look like a bit of a two-horse race. But I'm not going to count my chickens, because I don't have any chickens. But further down, the battle's heating up for like third place, so if me and Weber start crashing into each other and score not, and no points, I'm sure they'll pounce. And there's Truly with his four points jumping over a few drivers. So a great race there for him. Constructors, I don't really care about, so I don't mention it anymore. So, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the rest of this season. And I'll catch you next time out, the Belgian Grand Prix. Goodbye.